We are going to do a problem using Newton's law of cooling. We have T of T is equal to TS plus D sub zero E to the negative KT. Whew, okay, that's the formula they gave us. Let's see what these things stand for. What do they represent? T sub S, that is the temperature of your surroundings. Is it cold? Is it, you know, 32 degrees around you? Is it 70 degrees around you? The temperature of your surroundings. D sub zero, okay, that is the difference between the temperature of an object and its surroundings. So if I'm talking about a hot cup of coffee and I am sitting outside and it's, you know, 40 degrees, D sub zero is the difference in the temperature of my coffee and my surroundings. K, K is a constant and it depends on the type of object. Certain things cool or heat up at a different constant. T, of course, is time. Also, notice this part of the formula. So T sub S, that is the temperature of my surroundings, but the rate at which this item is going to cool down, doesn't that look similar to my PERT formula? P times E to the RT? The K here is negative, but it's cooling down. The temperature is decreasing. Now, instead of P, D sub zero is the difference between my object and my surroundings. Let's do a problem. A roasted turkey is taken from an oven when its temperature has reached 185 degrees Fahrenheit and is placed on a table in a room where the temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature of the turkey is 150 degrees Fahrenheit after half an hour, what is its temperature after 45 minutes? So what they want to know is I take it out of the oven, it's 185 degrees. They're telling me that it's a fact after half an hour the turkey has cooled down to 150 degrees. They want me to take that information, do a little math, then tell them what the temperature of the turkey will be after 45 minutes. Part B, when will the turkey cool to 100 degrees Fahrenheit? It looks hard, doesn't it? Well, let's just start plugging in what we know. The temperature of my turkey at time T is going to equal my surroundings. How warm is my house? T sub S is 75 degrees plus D sub zero, okay, when that turkey comes out of the oven, it's 185 degrees minus the temperature of my house, which is 75 degrees, so that will be 110 degrees. That is my D sub zero. E to the negative K T. I know a little bit more information here. I know that 30 minutes after I take that turkey out of the oven, instead of being 185 degrees, I know my turkey has cooled down to 150. So I'm going to plug in 30 for T, that's 30 minutes, and 150 degrees for my turkey. Okay, so I need this K. I need to know when it comes to turkeys, how quickly do they cool down? Well, I was given a fact that after 30 minutes it's 150 degrees. So with that information, I'm going to find this K. I want the K. So I will subtract 75 from both sides. E to the negative K times 30. Same thing as negative 30 K. Divide both sides by 110. I'm trying to isolate my E. Okay, so I will have 75 over 110. On the right side, the 110s cancel out. I have E to the negative 30K. Now remember, I'm trying to solve for K. 
K is up here in the air, in the exponent. I need to get it down. Remember our properties for logarithms or natural logs? The natural log of E to whatever is a whatever. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. Of course, we know if you take the natural log of the left side, you have to take the natural log of the right side. It's not your birthday. Okay, on the left side, I will have the natural log of 75 over 110. On the right side, the natural log of e to the negative 30k is just simply negative 30k. You need to know those properties for logarithms. Remember, I'm trying to solve for k, so now I'm going to divide by negative 30. k is being multiplied by negative 30, I will divide. But if you divide the right side by negative 30, make sure you divide the left side by negative 30. So I almost have my k. I will need to type this information into the calculator to see what k is. And then I'll probably round it off to about four decimal places. I want to type in the natural log of 75 over 110, all of that divided by negative 30. Well, here's natural log, and my parentheses does come up, 75 divided by 110. Now, I'm going to hit enter here and get an answer, just to make sure I don't make a careless error. That is my numerator, and then I want to take that answer and divide it by negative 30. Well, since that's the answer that's in there, all I have to hit is the divide, and it puts my answer up there. So I just hit divide and then negative 30. So my K is 0 0.012766. And the more you round it, the more deviation you'll have in your answer. So I'll just let my K be 0 0.01277. So my K, with a little bit of help from my calculator, I got 0 0.0127, and then I rounded it to 7. Whew. Okay, let's take that information, go back to our equation. The temperature of my turkey at time T is going to equal the temperature of its surroundings, which is 75 degrees in my house, plus the difference when I pull the turkey out of the oven, 185 degrees, minus the temperature in my house, 75 degrees, D sub 0 is 110, E, and we have K now, and it's 0 0.01277 times time. Whew, okay, I have done the hard part. I have my equation for that turkey. Now you can ask me any question you want to know about that turkey, and I can answer it. So back to part A. It says, if the temperature of the turkey is 150 degrees Fahrenheit after half an hour, okay, so I use that information to get this equation right here. But the real question is, what is the temperature of my turkey after 45 minutes? In other words, can I dig in after 45 minutes? All we have to do is plug in 45 into this T right here. Now let's go back to my calculator. And I'm going to plug in the info that we got for our equation. So 75 plus 110 E, now to get to the E button, that's under your LN, meaning I have to hit the second button and then the LN. E to the negative point zero one two seven seven times forty five close your parentheses and your answer is that after forty five minutes that turkey is going to be about one hundred thirty seven degrees so after forty five minutes when our time was forty five t at forty five when I plug that into my calculator I got approximately 137 degrees. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my generic equation. Remember T sub S, that's my the temperature of my surroundings, which in this house it was 75 degrees. 
plus D sub zero. That is the difference in when my turkey came out of the oven. It was 185 degrees minus the temperature of my house, 75 degrees. That is where that 110 came from. E to the negative point 0, 01277. We had to work pretty hard to get that K times T, which is our time. Okay, so in part A, after I found K, I simply plugged in 45 for T, used my calculator, and I said, hey, after 45 minutes, my turkey was 137 degrees. Part B doesn't tell me the time. It says, when will that turkey be 100 degrees? Maybe that's when we can eat the turkey when it's 100 degrees. So 100 will go, go over here where my temperature is. I will have 100 is equal to 75 plus 110E to the negative point 01277T. So I have the temperature of my turkey. For this problem, I want to find the T. I want to find a variable that is in my exponent. This is going to be an exponential equation. So you have to do a little bit more work than just punching it into your calculator. Of course, the question is, why do we have to wait for the turkey to be 100 degrees? I need to do a little algebra here. I am trying to solve for this t. So this is an exponential equation, logarithmic equation. Subtract 75 from both sides. You should get 25. Divide both sides by 110. So on the left, I will have 25 over 110. And on the right, when I divide that side by 110, they will cancel out. I will have e to the negative point 01277t. I am still searching for my t. I plugged in 100 for the temperature of that turkey. When will that turkey be 100 degrees? Okay, let's take the ln of both sides to continue solving this logarithmic equation. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. I'm not going to work this out yet. I will just leave this. The natural log of 25 divided by 110. Make sure you know that is together. On the right side, the natural log of e to the anything is the anything. So it would be negative point zero one two seven seven t Whew, We almost have t by itself. Divide both sides by negative point zero one two seven seven. So with a little bit of algebra work, I have added and subtracted, multiplied and divided. I did have to take the natural log of both sides, but I have found t. Now let's type this into the calculator to see when my turkey will be 100 degrees. So we had the ln of 25 divided by 110. I'm going to stop there and get an answer. I'm hitting enter. And then I'm going to divide by negative point 0, 01277. I'm just hitting the divide key. That's taking my last answer, dividing it by. So negative point. 0, 1, 2, 7, 7. So my dear friends, if you want to eat your turkey when it is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you will have to wait 116 minutes, which is almost two hours. So when I used my calculator for a little help there, I did get that my T, my time, will be about 116 minutes, almost two hours before I can dig into my turkey now, I still don't know why you have to wait for the turkey to cool down to 100 degrees. I think the best piece is when it is fresh off the grill or out of the oven or off the smoker. But then again, maybe that's why I'm not in charge of baking the turkeys. Do you think that they think I can talk better than I could bake a turkey? <laughs>